tell me, how long have you been with MA Properties? I've worked here for three and a half years. Oh no, yeah. I can't believe I know, it's, it's gone been quick. that long. Yep, oh it's my gone really gosh. Quick. So tell us what your role is. So I'm the marketing manager, which I think I, my role is kind of split into two. I handle all the digital marketing for the business. Yep. And then I handle all the marketing for listings. Okay, okay. What else? Isn't well, it, isn't it? <laughs> there's a little bit more, I suppose. <laughs> so tell us a little bit more about what you do with the, the listings. So instance. once it's prepped, staged, I go in, I photograph every house, I video every house, I 3D tour every house. Doesn't matter if it's $10 million or 100000 it gets all three. Yep, yep. Um, and then I edit all of that together. I use Susan's feature sheet uh, yep. and I create every property their own unique web page. Yep. Which is awesome. It's funny that, you know, you, you, you sort of went over the, the video very quickly with that. But that, that scares, that brings terror into most of the agents. Yeah. And me. And you. <laughs> <laughs> but you do a really, really, really good job. Yeah. Now, what do you mean by um, marketing the team or marketing the, the company? So I handle, well, I created the website. Yep. We have a new website, which is a little bit more functional and it kind of shows off what we do. Yeah. And I think that's probably the main thing is to show people what we do and what we can do to help sellers and help buyers. So I love the social media component that you do. I mm -hmm. love those Transformation Tuesdays. Exactly. And yep. you know, what has what the team been up to all week? Yep. I love those sorts of things as well that you often, that I often see on Facebook popping up. Yep, so it's all, we every day on Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, we're everywhere yep. and it's just, getting us out there in front of people yeah. and, and getting people to realize how good we are and what we can do to help them. And who we are. And who we are, yeah. And that's why we're doing this Have You Met series. Mm -hmm. is have You Met Glenn? You know, uh, talk, uh, giving people a sense of what folks in our team do. The sorts of things you do, when would a seller interact with you? Um, I mean, ideally they'll never see me. Because <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm in, I'm out while they're at the house yeah. but they may see me while when I come in to take the photographs sometimes yeah. our sellers like foot certain photographs certain way and I'm more than happy to work with sellers and and help them kind of showcase their house because everyone every seller sees their house in a certain way and they yeah. want it to be shown that way yeah so I'm more than happy to work with sellers to, yeah. to kind of show off their house the way they want it to be shown and it's also too that um, if we're bringing a home on the market early in the spring season when there's still snow on the ground yep. and things, sometimes you go over and take exterior photos at a seller's home. Yeah. So if they know, know if they know in advance that they're coming on a year a year later, or six I'll months go later over or something. Yeah. Either during the summer or the fall, yeah. the year before, yeah. and get those photographs so that there's not snow on the ground. Sometimes when we, t you know, filling sellers in on, on you coming in to do the digital assets, we always recommend that they're not at home. And part of that, I think, is so that we can get in and out as quick as possible so that they can get their home back again. Yeah. But it causes some challenges with the 3D tour, I believe. That yeah. If so yeah. it's not as much as a, of a problem with the photographs and the yeah. video because they're all individually yep. taken. But the 3D tour is a sequence. Yeah. And it can't be broken. So once I start it, I have to get all the way through the house. And if there's things out of place, if there's doors that are opened in the middle of it, yeah. things like that will we'll mess it up. And then there might be problems with the, with the floor then, plans. And, and then it won't stitch together yeah, yeah. cleanly because yeah. it's expecting a door to be 30 degrees. Yeah, everything has to and, stay the same. I have, to, I have to play later. a game of hide and seek with it. I, yeah. I set it going and then run and hide in a different room. <laughs> <laughs> well, that would be fun for us to see. We need to do a follow Glenn in his day and watch you running around the house trying to get away from the 3D camera. So what part do you like most about your day? What's, what's the, the, what part of your daily activity is, is the best part? I would say I like that every day is different, that yep. every yep. house is different, every house, like, no, there's no two houses are the same. Everything yep. is different photographs, different challenges. And I love just, because more than not, I don't see the house till I get there. Yeah. So I love just getting there, trying to figure out. I normally walk through the house and kind of figure out the shots I like and what I'm going to do. And, and then it's just the creative side of it where I can just try different things, especially yeah. with the video. Now yeah. we do videos differently. Yeah. I'm just trying different things. Some of it doesn't work, some of it works, and it's just... But you always take more than one take of oh, some yeah. things as yeah. well. I have, when I export it all, I've probably got 100 photographs and 
200 yeah. clips and then I, yeah. I cut all that down and we end up with 50 or 60 photos and yeah. I probably use 30 or 40 clips of the house so I really cut it down. I guess people can tell that you don't have an American accent. <laughs> so do you want to tell us a little bit more about who you are? Yeah. So, <laughs> and oh, I'm right going to learn some things. I'm, yeah. I'm sure I'm So right now some... yeah. I live in Acton with my yeah. wife Lauren and our daughter Isabel. How old is she now? She is 17 months. Oh my goodness, that has gone so She's fast. She's a firecracker. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I know I saw a She's video that you had the other day. She's just her own little personality now. There's no control in her. And she was, her. <laughs> she was climbing up a set of, a, a set of drawers. Yeah. Uh, onto a change table or yep. something and, and was really pleased and we'll with tell it this, she'll be halfway up and we'll say get down and she'll turn and just laugh at us and just keep going <laughs> she does whatever she wants <laughs> so whereabouts are you from originally? i'm from wimbledon in southwest london so you've been here how long eight years i moved here in 2014 yeah wow mm -hmm. so now you're an american aren't you pretty much yeah yeah <laughs> well i'm stuck here now hey, family yeah. so they, i'm stuck i can't leave yeah, well, that's right. <laughs> Unless you can convince Lauren and Isabel to move back to, to the Ooh, UK with you. But no, nah, I, so. nah, I don't I, think I that's going to happen. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you prefer it here. Oh, far, yeah. So, I think I know the answer to this one. What do you like to do in your free time? So, I still play soccer. I used yep. to play when I was a kid. Played a lot. Uh, I play over 30 years now. I can't okay. be... I can't keep up with the young How kids are you anymore. over 30? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can't keep up. Now I'm one of the young kids with the older guys. <laughs> That's perfect. Uh, but what I mainly do is I'm a competitive golfer. That's what I That's thought what it was. That's what you knew was coming, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I play off three. I play in a ton of tournaments. I've got one coming up on June 20th. Um, I didn't know you were a competitive golfer. Oh, yeah, yeah. So I, mean, I still play. I have fun with my mates, but I like, I have like, a, I'm an extremely competitive person hmm. so I have to do something that's and over 30 soccer isn't really competitive so I uh, I needed something well thank you very much Glenn no it was awesome awesome sitting and talking with you thank you